In this tutorial we will see how to train a custom quadruped robot to make it walk on a flat surface. In the beginning of the training the robot falls almost instantly. But after 40,000 iterations the robot walks relatively well. With further parameter tuning, it is possible to make the robot walk even more smoothly. Now let's see how we did this. In this tutorial, I expect that the viewer has already installed Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab. If you have not, please follow instructions on this page and install these programs. Isaac Lab by default has a configuration file to train quadruped robot locomotion. It is located here. There are also several predefined quadruped robot models. These files are located in the config folder. The ID of each model is written in the init python script. For example, let's say we would like to train a unitree A1 robot on a flat surface. We should move to the rslrl directory. Execute the train Python script. Specify task name and number of environments. The training process will start. So, to train our own quadruped robot we just have to create a folder that will have the same files, but with configuration of our robot. Now, let's see how we should set our robot up. Please download the custom quadruped Isaac zip file and extract it to your home directory. In the robot directory we have a Zacro file of our custom quadruped robot. To use Isaac Lab default files as much as possible, we should name links and joints in a certain way. The body of the robot is named trunk. The name of the first joint is hip joint with a prefix depending on which part of the body this joint is attached. The second joint is thigh joint and the third joint is calf joint. Links are named correspondingly to joints. There are also foot fixed joints and links. These links are used to calculate reward. If you would like to use your own quadruped robot, you just have to replace STL and DAY files and change link origin coordinates. To generate a URDF file of the robot, build this package using the Colkin build command. Then, open a new terminal. Execute the setup bash script using the source command. Move to the robot directory. Execute the Zacro command. Note that you have to install Zacro package to execute this command. The URDF file will be generated. Now open Isaac Sim. Click on the Files tab. Click on Import. Select the URDF file we just generated. Since our robot is not stationary, select Mobile Base. Then, click Import. Click on the Create tab and from the Physics menu, select Ground Plane. Move the robot just above the ground. The initial height is important because it will be the initial state of the robot at the very first step of each training episode. Now we will set initial joint angles of the robot. We will set minus 50 degrees for thigh joints and 100 degrees for calf joints. We also will set a small initial angle for hip joints. 
start the simulation and make sure that the robot is stable. That is, four legs should touch the ground almost at the same time as the robot falls on the ground. Because it is falling on the ground, we made joints less stiff and increased dumping. We will change stiffness to 60 and damping to 1.5. If it is still not stable, adjust the center of gravity of the trunk of the robot. But do not forget to change the values in the Zacro file and regenerate the URDF file. Now our robot is stable enough. Save this file. Note that we will not use this file for training. As a robot model, we will use this robot USD file inside the robot directory. Now let's see inside the custom quadruped folder. The content of this folder is almost the same as in the A1 folder we saw previously. But we have added a few files. The first file is the file of the quadruped robot we generated previously. And the second file contains articulation configuration of our robot. The format of this file is identical to predefined quadruped robots. The predefined assets are located in this folder. In case of the Unitree A1 it is defined in the Unitree Python script. The definition of our robot is almost the same. Let's see our custom quad python script. In this part, we set initial angles of the joints. We should use values that we find out using Isaac Sim. In these lines, joints configuration is done. As we saw previously, joint configuration also plays an important role in robot stability. In the flat NCFG and rough NCFG Python scripts, we have settings of environments. Let's see the rough NCFG file. The most important part of this file is setting of reward weights. Depending on how we set weight of rewards, the way robot learns gate will change. Reward configuration is set in the velocity ncfg file. Most of the rewards are predefined rewards of Isaac Lab. The explanation and code for these rewards can be found here. But there is also reward specific for locomotion. It is defined in this reward python script. These rewards encourage the robot to lift its feet off the ground. An episode terminates if it reaches timeout or a contact force of a body part, in our case trunk, exceeds threshold value. In other words, when the robot falls and the trunk contacts the floor. In the flat NCFG file, settings for flat environment are defined. Several reward weights are different and there is no terrain setting and height scan is not used. In the agents directory, we have settings for learning process. As a framework, we will use RSLRL. RSLRL is a fast and simple implementation of reinforcement learning algorithms, designed to run fully on GPU. Open the SKRL flatpo CFG file. Under the model's key, settings for actor network and critic network are defined. For both actor network and critic network as input, robot states are used. Robot states are defined in the velocity and CFG Python script in the policy CFG class. Note that in case of a flat environment, height scan is not used. 
both networks consist of three hidden layers. In case of actor network, actions, that is, angles for each joint, are outputted. Critic network outputs value of the action. Note that for actor network, we are using stochastic policy, while for critic network we are using deterministic policy. In case of stochastic policy, policy outputs the mean and log standard deviation of a Gaussian distribution from which the action is sampled. This is done to search for even better policy while determining where good policy might be during the training process. In this page you can find explanation of the model and parameters. In this part, definition of PPO algorithm is done. Basically, we don't have to change these parameters because they are already tuned to work well with most of the problems. Now let's do the training. Move the custom quadruped file into the config directory. To run training, activate the virtual environment. Move to this directory and execute the train Python script. For the task, specify our environment. If you have installed TensorBoard plugin to Visual Studio Code, you can activate it and monitor the training process. If the training is successful, the curve of each parameter will look like this. But still, this is not the best result. With further parameter tuning the robot may walk even better. To execute our environment with a trained policy, execute the play python script. 